Hey, what's going on? It's Johnny Grooms, and today I'm gonna to be doing a quick little video just to explain how I go about doing my reviews for beard products. First and foremost, just like a band or singer, songwriter, artist, not every song is gonna be a hit. Now you're gonna have your greatest hits, you're gonna have your one hit wonders, you're gonna have your chart toppers. With that being said, not every beard product is gonna knock it out of the park. When I approach a beard product for testing for the review, this is how I go about it. On the first day, if I'm testing an oil and a balm combo, I'll put it on first thing in the morning and I won't touch any other product for the rest of the day or add additional product. All I would do is just put some bottled water in my beard to see how well the product bounces back after rehydration. And that's to test duration and performance throughout that first day. From day two to day five, because I do a five day test, it's regular use. Put it in the morning, refresher in the afternoon, if I feel I really need it. One of the things that could be a negative is, you know, scent profile, but that's subjective to the person. You may not like a scent that I like, that I love. So when it comes to like scent, you know, that is purely my opinion. That has nothing to do with product itself. Like I hate patchouli. A lot of people love, love patchouli. I can't stand it. I mean, it has to be a really good patchouli scent for me to stomach it. What I look for performance wise is luster, softness, and how my beard feels after a couple days of use. Between days, I do wash and co-wash my beard, but at night, I just put the oil in that I'm testing. So I'll wear the product all day, refresh it in the afternoon. Before I go to bed, I'll clean my beard. And then overnight, I'll put the oil that I'm using to see how my beard feels in the morning. And so far, every product I've used, when I wake up in the morning of just using the oil that I'm testing, my beard has been really nice. So I haven't run into a product that has performed badly yet. I'm pretty sure there is gonna be that one out there that is not gonna perform well for my beard. And when that day comes, you will hear about it. You will know about it. The way I film the, film the reviews is that I kind of film like two or three in a row, or sometimes I may film one product that I have been testing and I won't air the video. It's saved only because there's only so much product I can review and there's only so much money I can spend on buying beard care products. About 95% of behind me I bought rarely get gifted beard care products and when I do get a gifted beard care product I will say it in the review in the beginning that's why I start off my reviews with today I'm gonna to be reviewing a product that I picked up for the purposes of the review or a product that I was sent for the purposes of a review or a product that I was gifted Those three categories in the beginning of every review I do and also just know just because I was gifted a product or given a product for a review is not going to affect the outcome of the review if you give me an oil and a balm and I use it and it doesn't work out well I'm still gonna say it doesn't work out well you know I'm not going to speak positively on a product just because it was given to me or gifted to me um, that's gonna destroy the credibility of this entire channel and um, that's just something I won't do you know even if I was offered money for a guaranteed positive review on a product I wouldn't do a po guaranteed positive review on a product. If it sucks, it sucks. If it, if it doesn't treat this beard correctly, I'm gonna say it didn't treat this beard correctly. If I start using your product and I start losing some more hairs, to, you know, I start shedding, or it burns, or it has some kind of like sensation that I don't like, I'm gonna put it out there. Just the nature of the beasts. It's just about being honest and being true.
also if if I open a product and there's if I got finger indentations in my freshly new bought balm or I see some hairs in there or nuts, bolts, toenails, fingernails, eyelashes. Let's just hope we don't go down that road. Cause that'll be pretty, pretty disgusting. So far, everything's been top notch. All the companies that I've purchased from, great products. Presentations have been very nice. Scent profiles, I choose because I buy the scents that I like, have not let me down, done very well. And uh, hopefully we can continue that trend. Because I would hate, I would hate to have to speak negatively on someone's creation. But we'll see. That'll be it for today's video. Remember to take care of yourself and each other. Later.